Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for clicking on the video to take a look. And in this video, we're going to take a quick look at this painting here. If I can stop the um, camera from shaking. <laughs> and um, it's a bit of a mixture actually. Those of you who'd be familiar with my uh, other works will recognise this part on the left here is a typical kind of amalgamation style. Um, but I've mixed it with or combined it with a bit of a seascape thing going on on the other side. So if I take a zoom around here, you can see you get quite a nice effect. No idea what it's going to come out like, so light here as usually is I'm in front of the window, so some aspects are good, some aspects are bad. But here you can see the layers of it, so I'll, I'll go for this aspect first of all. So you can see the texture on this, so we've got these kind of little island things going on. And this is like a azure blue, ultramarine blue, quite lots of blue mixed in together. If I go over this side here, it's going to bring it out a little bit more. And then where the two um, designs meet, I've kind of um, put splashes of white in here to give it the impression of the sea. So you need a little bit of imagination here, but uh, basically what I'm trying to achieve is like a, a bit of a coastline and islands and ocean. That's the kind of feeling that I'm going for. Now, um, those of you who know me, I'm, I'm not a landscape painter. I'm not, I don't really paint anything real. It all comes out my imagination. <laughs> so this is a kind of pretty good example where I can kind of get away with it. I can get away with kind of doing abstract work, which kind of cross over into like a landscape. So if you with a little bit of imagination, you can see that could be the sea, that could be the seashore with the sea lapping against the cliffs and the surf and the spray. And it's actually these kind of things that I tend to do if I'm going for something a bit like this. There's no point me sitting down trying to do a landscape because it's something, it doesn't really interest me to be honest. So I, I like something with a lot of colour and probably not that real looking to be honest. So that's why I paint for imagination. But something like this is a bit of a crossover. So I'm just kind of hoping it might appeal to a wider audience basically. Um, you never know. This is the second one I've done like this. Um, and I think they, they both come out really well. This one, I think, has got a slightly different look. I, I didn't take the sea up to the shoreline quite so much as in the first one. And as you can see, this design here wraps right the way around the edges. And this is just really nice. I don't know if it's going to pick it up on this film. Uh, I've not varnished it yet. So once it's varnished, it will come up very, very glossy. And it goes right the way around the sides there. So you get a nice 3D look to it. Um, what tends to happen is when I put the gloss on, I tend to do this side a high gloss and this side more of a matte gloss. So you've got a complete contrast. So at the moment, this has only just been finished. I only did this yesterday, finished completing it yesterday. So um, still in early days. Yeah, it is dry, but it, I'd say it needs a good five days or so to completely dry out. Because when I put this paint on, it is quite thick. I use this fresh out of the tube, so I don't mix it with anything. So it does take quite a while to dry. It's actually on a, on a, um, a uh, what's the word, a, like a wooden frame, a board, that's the word I'm looking for. It's on a board, uh, which is specially made for painting, which is uh, quite nice. It gives it a nice solid feel to it. There's no stretch on this, unlike with the canvas. And uh, yeah, just quite a nice, nice thing to paint. Really enjoyed doing this. Paints I use are, most people always ask me, um, I usually use De La Roni paints at the moment, although I have to say, if anybody out there is a painter, I don't know if you've had similar problems, but since Covid, if I'm allowed to say that word, or since the, the, the dreaded hit a few years ago, I think a lot of stuff stayed in storage. I'm, the paint I'm buying is not great quality. It's the quality, well, I can't the quality like, but it's just so thick. It's like it's been sat in storage for too long. Because I use it, it's fresh out the tube. It's been quite hard work. I don't know if anybody else has experienced that at all, but there seems to be a lot of paint which has been hanging around quite a long while, obviously now coming out for sale. But uh, consistency is a bit of a struggle at the moment. Uh, I think it's just that there's been sort of a bit of a backlog and stuff's been stuck in warehouses for a long, long time until things pick up again. Anyway, there we go. So that's just my experience. But anyway, this is the painting. I think I've called it Ocean Deep. I've had interest with it already, um, although I'm saving it for an exhibition coming up in April. So that's a quick look at that. Hope you um, like what you see there. If you're interested to have a look at other work, please check out the channel. There's something like about 260 odd videos of other work you can take a look at. Um, and hopefully you might find something that you quite like. Most of the stuff on there has been sold, to be honest, but it gives you a rough idea what I can do. So 
there we go so it's called ocean deep and it's an amalgamation painting so thanks a lot for your time please hit the old like button subscribe and all that kind of stuff <laughs> i've got to hate saying that and um thanks a lot for your time and um, please check back again for more details as well more videos even as and when thanks a lot bye